Hi, my name is Gino Sigismondi. I work with the Technical Training Department at Sure Incorporated. I'm here today to talk to you about some of the changes that the FCC has proposed in regards to maximizing usage of the UHF television spectrum and how that's going to impact wireless microphone operation. There's really three issues that we've kind of been keeping tabs on over the past, well, almost 10 years now. The di digital television transition, the 700 megahertz auctions, and what is commonly known as the white spaces proceeding. Uh, these are three uh, ways that the FCC is trying to maximize the usage of the UHF television band. The DTV transition, which started about 10 years ago, is uh, getting rid of analog television that we've been using over the past however many 50 years or so, uh, and, and converting the U.S. to a digital television transmission scheme. What that allows the FCC to do is uh, take the same amount of television channels we've, al we've always had in the United States and pack them into a smaller amount of spectrum. By doing that, they're able to repurpose the upper end of the UHF television band. Uh, what's commonly known as 700 megahertz is now going to be uh, auctioned off for other purposes. Actually, it's 698 to 806 megahertz. Part of that spectrum has been reallocated for public safety. The remainder of it has been auctioned off to companies like AT&T, Verizon, and Qualcomm. Wireless microphones uh, are, have not yet been uh, made illegal in that part of the spectrum. Uh, we don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we anticipate that that spectrum is going to be very uh, unfriendly or, and or hostile to wireless microphone operations. So we encourage anyone that's using wireless mics in 700 megahertz to start thinking about that, replacing that equipment with something that operates lower in the television band. The remainder of the spectrum, 470 to uh, 698 megahertz, will still be a great usable spectrum for wireless microphone operation, uh, but the white spaces proceeding kind of complicates that issue a little bit by allowing uh, what the FCC is proposing is allowing unlicensed devices to have access to that spectrum as well. When they say white spaces, they mean the spectrum in between digital television broadcasts. So the FCC is hoping that uh, allowing unlicensed devices to have access to that spectrum uh, will, will again make more efficient use of that spectrum. On November 4th of last year, the FCC did approve the uh, use of the white spaces by unlicensed devices. However, there are a number of protections built into that uh, proceeding that will protect wireless microphone interests using a number of technologies including a, a, a geolocation feature with database search and uh, spectrum sensing as well as some protected channels being in there will uh, will provide adequate protection for wireless microphone operation so despite the fact that the FCC did pass this order that will allow these devices to come into the band at, uh, at some point in the future um, we feel very confident that the protections that are in there are are adequate to ensure wireless microphone operation to continue as, uh, as we've come to know it over many years. So that's, that's about it. Uh, if you have any further questions, you can always uh, contact us at Sure or Roscor, and we'll be happy to help you out.